The Kiwi mums spend so much time caring for their families that sometimes they tend to forget the most important person. <laughs> now on And Mum Pedia Pro 3 Coffee Group, we are talking about taking care of your kid's mum. Uh, that's you, by the way. Joining us today, wellness bloggers Tui Fleming and Rachel King. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. It is lovely to have you here in the studio. Um, Tui, do you think we spend too much time focusing on others? I think um, too much is probably subjective, but certainly we spend um, a lot of time prioritising others at the expense of ourselves. I think um, women are hardwired to please and mums hold a lot of store in harmony, so we say yes a lot. And sadly, we think saying yes to ourselves is being selfish, but you have to be selfish to be selfless. Mm. And, and what I mean by that is when you take time to do things that light you up, that fill your cup, you feel so much better in yourself, and then you have the reserves of love and energy and patience to give to others. Yeah, and the thing about mums is too, is if you're serving up dinner, you serve yourself last, don't you? You always get scraps, make sure everyone else is well fed. Um, Rachel, we are very strong, you're, you're very strong in keeping it simple, in fact you're going to come around and help me clean out the garage. Is that the same with self-care, like the little things matter? They really do, yeah, and I think if we try and go too grand it can get a bit overwhelming, but it's really important to add those small rituals into our day that are going to make a difference and make us feel cared for. Things, just simple things like buying ourselves some fresh flowers or pouring ourselves a special cup of tea in a nice teacup, um, lighting some candles in the evening, some of those mm. little things. The Danish have got a word for it that they call hygge, mm. and that's a sense of cosiness and wellness, and I think that we can learn a thing or two mm. from the Danes. Mm. Foot so. bath with uh, aromatherapy oils in it. There we go, yeah, here's That's one. the business. <laughs> uh, Tori, what do you do to stay calm and focused each day, you know, uh, with your busy household? Yeah, for me, it's, um, it's just as simple as slowing down my breathing and really practicing that deep diaphragmatic breathing where you, you, you visualize and, and breathe as if you're sending the breath all the way down to your belly so it allows your lungs to fully inflate and when you do that you're um, you're actually activating that parasympathetic nervous system which is your rest and digest so it mm. instantly brings you into a state of calm as opposed to breathing up here which so many of us do and that actually exacerbates anxiety so it's about bringing mindful moments into my day anywhere I am I could be at home in the car doing a stressful drop off at school I mean you, your breath is accessible as you say every day and you can do it anywhere so that's that's my thing yeah and you can do you're right, anyone can do that and you can do yeah. it any place at all. Yeah. Um, Rachel, what's your advice for mums that maybe feel a little bit guilty about taking care of themselves? Well, I think we need to remember that if we don't take care of ourselves, we're not going to be effectively taking care of anyone. So we need to think of the concept of putting on your own oxygen mask first mm. before you help others. So taking care of ourselves, attending to just those simple little well-being touches in our day. They're, they're like anchors in our day, and that is what will help us be able to mm. attend to our children That's better. That's a great analogy too, mm. the oxygen yeah. masking. I love it. Um, Tui, do you think mums also feel quite bad asking others for help? Yes. Yes, I think, you know, um, society and media, they tell us that we can be it all and have it all, um, but that superwoman status comes at such a cost to our well-being, and we do feel like, um, it can feel like a weakness to ask for help, so we kind of, you know, hold it all in to ourselves, and yet it's not a weakness, it's showing vulnerability, and I think that there is courage and there's strength in that, and in fact it makes us relatable to everyone, because we all have vulnerabilities, and so when we reveal that, we're actually making our ourselves relatable and accessible and opening ourselves up to receiving that help and when we when we help others we, we rise by lifting mm, others that's so true. we're actually rising and helping ourselves that it makes the world go around and none so. of us are perfect no 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 one is like their Instagram story either no. <laughs> surprisingly <laughs> Instagram can be a little bit <laughs> fake sometimes um, Rachel do you think we we lose a little bit of ourselves in motherhood sometimes yeah, absolutely, and I think we can often forget what it is that we love. That's something that people often talk about is what, what do I want to do when I've got that pocket of time? Mm. And a couple of ways that you can remind yourself, one is to think what did you love doing as a child? Mm. If you loved getting out in nature or if you loved exercise or you loved craft or cooking, whatever it was, that will give you a little clue. You might not be able to go hit the slopes you know, every time you feel down, but you might be able to just get out, sit outside and have mm. your cup of tea outside. Yeah. Um, and another thing is, I, I have to say, is that simplifying, if you simplify your home, if you get rid of the clutter <laughs> and you simplify your schedule, the rub. <laughs> you've got the headspace to mm. actually think about yeah, what it is so that true. you love. Absolutely, and sometimes just going outside uh, at night and looking up at the stars can be enough to mm. sort of like give you a little bit of grounding. Mm. Yeah. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining us today. Always a pleasure. And the Coffee Group is brought to you by Anmum Pedia Pro 3.
the only toddler milk with no added sugars. If you have any worries that you would like addressed by our parenting panel, message us on the cafe Facebook page. One contributor will get this cool ebook from Animum. Hang on, hang on, that allows you to record your voice reading the story. Wouldn't it be absolutely amazing to win this ebook? Wouldn't it be amazing? Congratulations to Natasha, Lilani, uh, Bruce. Thank you for your great idea.